G'day guys. Out here again, just packed the boat up. We'll pack the boat to go camping. I'm traveling a lot lighter this trip. I've got my tent over there, so I don't have my big swag in the boat, which is gonna uh, make it a lot easier. And yeah, I've just been racing to get the boat ready. You gotta sometimes slow down a little bit because when you see conditions as good as they are today, you just wanna get the boat in the water as quick as possible. But I'm ready now, so let's get the boat in the water and get out to the camp spot and set up. Also check the bungs, make sure they're in good. Yeah, I've got the rest of today. It's lunchtime at the moment. And then I've got all tomorrow. So I don't have to be back until tomorrow night. Should be good. Let's get the boat in the water, eh? Woo! Keen as. Such good conditions today. Let's do it. Pull the motor up. What's this rope doing? All right, let's get this gear on the beach, right? Pillow, cooking gear, sleeping bag, and mattress. And what I didn't... Oh, where are the pegs, bro? Where are the pegs at? Oh, I thought this was a new tent. And it's not a new tent. It's an older one that I had. So all I've got is the fly screen part, which is better than nothing. But if it rains, I'm, I'm in a bit of trouble. And I've got no pegs, that'll be all right. I'll just put some something heavy down in the corner of the of the um, tent and hope it's all good. <laughs> I thought it was a brand new tent. They don't need to be that big. I like that size is perfect. Ten pegs. You gotta improvise out here in the bush. One in that corner. That corner. <laughs> This isn't really meant to be any wind around, so we should be sweet. Just can't believe I didn't bring the right tent. Thought I had everything prepared for this trip. Turns out, I didn't. But at least I'm gonna be looking up at the stars tonight. So it should be all sweet. Just hope there's not too much dew in the morning so I don't get too wet. <laughs> I got a new sleeping bag, so that should keep me nice and warm. All set, let's go fishing. Be back here hopefully in a few hours with a fish and a squid. That's the plan. I've got a squid jig tied on, so I might throw the squid jig around for a little bit. Try and get a squid or two. And then I'm gonna go around the other side of the island and try and catch a fish. Alright, let's see if I can get a squid first up. It's gonna drift along these rocks. Casting a squid jig. Pink one, I got a few fish on this the other day. Oh! 
I think I've got one. How's that? How's that? Oh, there's a few in there. I can see them boiling up the back. Yes! Come on. Get some calamari first up. And all we need is a fish. I think it's a pretty good size too, eh? It's gonna go real easy on him. Yeah, he's a good one. That's all I need for a feed. Just one squid like this. Can I bring my net? How good's that? Yes! Good size too, on the pink. Don't know if the color has anything to do with it, but they love this squid jig, eh? Phew. Oh, that's awesome. I just put him back in the net and in the water to make sure he's got no more ink in him. How good is that? Right near camp. I might try and get one more, then go and get a fish. Epic! Whew. Stoked. Might be some just there actually. Sometimes when you bring the squid jig in, you can see like a figure out the back or a few of them, and they can be squid. Man, this water looks inviting though. If it wasn't so late in the day, I'd jump in and have a spear. Oh, fish or bombing? Oh, squid! Squid right here! Oh! The squid right here! Good size too, I think. Yup. <laughs> oh, that was the little one. Number two. Yes. I'm at the spot. I'm gonna flick a plastic around for a little bit. Fingers crossed so I can get a get a snapper or something tasty to put in that put in a wrap later on. Just amazing the conditions right now, eh? Like it's been glassy. Pretty much the whole time I've been out here. Doesn't get much better. Fishing super light. Six pound braid, ten pound leader. Just running a 112 jig head and a little three inch gulp nemesis prawn. Bust ups, out the back. Look a slug in there. Could be Taylor, probably Taylor. Surely I can get that. Oh, I'm just out of range. <laughs> oh, I think I'm on him. I think I'm on him.
Yep, that's a fish. Very weird eat. We're sitting with it in its mouth. Oh, that is a perfect fish for me. All right, we've got a nice flatty here. Oh, he's probably only like 45, but he's gonna be, how loose do you want your drag? Perfect eater. Never wanted a little flatty in the boat more than this one. Oh, stay on there, buddy. Look at me with my nana drag. Oh. He's all right, eh? Yes. He'll be size for sure. We've got dinner. Well, we already had it, but that is perfect. Just de-hooked himself. I'll give him a measure just to make sure. But I reckon he's going to go 40. They're going to be 40 centimetres. This is a dusky flathead. Ah, got me. Ah. That's it, put my glove on. That's the tip, right there, I'm gonna, yep. And he is 41 and a half. That's legal size. Not a monster, but he got me on the thumb. How good's that? Only a little guy, 41 and a bit, but that's gonna be perfect eating. One of my favorite eating fish flathead. I'll show you a bit later how, how I feel with it. So yeah, beautiful. That's gonna be going on a fish wrap with my calamari. How good. Awesome. Well, I got what I'm looking for. Fish and squid. Now, might just have a few more casts and then shoot back to camp and start getting this ready before that sun goes down. It's getting close. Man, that flathead came at a perfect time. Here we go, we've got a bite already. A uh, couple more casts, and then I'm out of here. Gee, that structure's good down there. Yo, oh, tighten your drag up, bro. Yo, that's a fish. Very little fish. Very, very little fish. That's not what you want. Slimy, slimy pike with teeth that destroy your soft plastics. Look at this. See you, buddy. afternoon that sun's just crept down below the island got the jumper and the beanie on it's getting a bit cool but I'm just gonna race up here put some of my gear on the on the shore go grab all the ingredients out of the boat Let's get rid of that that's the skin that's pretty good I'm happy with that Oh, a bit there. Yeah. All done. Beautiful. 
Gee, that tide's coming in. There's my two flathead fillets. Now what I'll do is just take the skin off and then take the bones out. Dude, this is tight. I gotta move. Can you see that eagle? Two eagles there. I just left my food. I was gonna go get. Just left my food here, right? And I've gone to get the wraps and that out of the esky. And this fella here and his mate tried to take my food. <laughs> that was so lucky. Stay away, mate. You're not getting my fish. Alrighty, so it's now dark. Just been setting up the kitchen here and getting rid of the bones now. So, oh, what's going on here? So I've just taken the bones, the section out from the middle here and that's all bones, so we're not going to eat that. Then basically... You can eat the rest, so I might just chop it up into some pieces like this. Go one there, one there, one there. I've actually just got to skin the other side of the flathead. I'll do that now. skin we don't need that now do the same to this side just get rid of that bone section and that's the other bone section we'll put that back in the water in a moment Same thing. I like to just feel, make sure I didn't leave any. We're all good. I reckon that thickness should be the goods. There we go. Got our calamari and flathead. Uh, panko breadcrumbs. Okay, so we've got cheese, cucumber, lemon, red onion, avocado, and tomato over there. That's what's going to go in the wrap. We are good here. Yeah, watering. Got the wraps ready to go. Now while they're starting to cook up, might turn that heat down a little bit. That's getting really hot. We'll get this calamari bread crumbed up. Yeah, that's cooked. Okay. Straight in with the calamari.
that's pretty much cooked, I reckon. A couple, couple more seconds. I haven't even cooked it all. I still got some, some left. I'll cook that later. Beautiful. We'll cook that other little bit of calamari up later. That can be dessert. All right, a little bit of pepper. So, bit of lemon on the wrap. How good does this look? We are on here, that's for sure. I can't wait any longer. A little bit on the side. Boom! Fresh calamari, panko bread. Panko bread grumped calamari and flathead on a wrap looks absolutely sensational and I can't wait to dig in. All right, let's do it. All righty, I'm gonna try and film and eat with the light at the same time. So we'll go calamari first, eh? You guys see me? You guys already know that I'm gonna say this is awesome, but it really is. A bit of sand in that pipe. Mm. Calamari is always good. The wrap, one handed. How good. <laughs> so good. Flathead's just, it's just got a nice flavour. And on a wrap, I haven't had a wrap in so long. This is well worth the whole afternoon on the water to try and catch and the last hour and a half to try and cook. Well worth it when you get a meal like that, eh? Sitting by the ocean. Eating the first thing that you've eaten all day. And it being this. So bloody good, man. I'm gonna keep digging into this, guys. I'll take you along with me tonight if anything happens, but if it doesn't, Nothing really happens tonight. I'll uh, see you in the morning, bright and early. I must have flicked up so much sand when I kept getting up and down. I've got every bite I'm getting sand. Apart from that bite, actually. Oh, a little bit of crunch from the sand, but... This is absolutely delicious. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright. Time to go to sleep. New. Got the new, um, what do you call this thing again? Sleeping bag. And my feet are absolutely freezing right now, man. So, I need to get inside this. See if it warms me up. Oh, it's pretty good so far. Man, this ground's a bit hard, eh? Oh, it's no swag mattress. <laughs> but we'll make it work. Alright, guys, I'm just going to chill out for a bit. It's only early, it's like 8.30, but 
just freezing out there. My feet are freezing. Just gonna chill out and probably fall asleep soon. It's been a big day. So yeah. Nighty night. See you tomorrow. Alright, boat's all packed up. Just got it sitting on the shore there. And just gonna make a coffee before I shoot off. So we'll get this water boiling. Go on the Cadbury Makona today. Had these ones before, they're all okay. They're not my favorite, but it's gonna taste good out here on the island. Mmm, that's good. Cool.